Uh, my name is Niaz. I'm a teacher and a father from Bangladesh. And this is my son, Neil. Neil was three when he was having some reading difficulties with the alphabets. So he figured out that the books which are available in the markets were not interesting enough. So this gave me a strong incentive to work on this, solving this problem. And also knowing the fact that one in five children drops out in their schools, that was another business opportunity for us. So this is where we came up with Bino. It's an augmented reality-based app coupled with five different books. I'll just give you a quick demonstration how it works. So this is just the beginning. What we are trying to do is address the skill gap that would be created with fourth industrial revolution. And we are working with child psychologists and deep domain expertise holders to work with skills for tomorrow. So that will give them, uh, with artificial intelligence, we can provide something that would be ready for them. Our business plan is very simple. We have a freely downloadable app with five books. And that's our B2C model. In terms of B2B model, what we are doing is we are partnering up with the government of Bangladesh to incorporate them in the curriculum. And also, we are working with BRAC, which is the largest NGO in the world. So we have operations in 14 countries in that way, including Tanzania and many other countries in Africa. And we are addressing the SDG goal number four of quality education. Our market size is total $500 million, and 10% of it is $50 million target market size. So we already have 30,000 traction, 30,000 downloads, more than 20,000 books sold, and $60,000 revenue. In terms of traction and feedbacks, we are far ahead of our competition. Our main strength is in our team. Um, I'm Niaz. I used to be a consultant for Ernst & Young. I have a computer science and business double major, and I did my MBA from University of Minnesota. Uh, my co-founder, Mr. Mastun Kibria, has successfully founded three or four different companies, three or four, because you know, in education field three, in another field, another company. And we have a very strong IT team and creative team who are making it happen. We got lots of rewards, but I don't want to talk about the rewards, except for the funding from GP Accelerator, which is founded by Professor Mohammed Yunus, Nobel laureate, and uh, Gramin Four, which is from Telenor. And our biggest recognition came when my three and a half years old kid could read all the 52 characters of the Bengali alphabet. And our ask is $200,000 for investment and strategic partnership. And we want to change the world in Bangladesh and beyond. Thank you so much. Good morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I have a question about the traction you already have in terms yes. of um, revenues. When do you think you will break even already? Uh, maybe in two and a half months' times. So interestingly, um, this is the book version because in Bangladeshi ways, the purchasing decision doesn't go with they don't want to buy something which is only with the app. We have the books, but we also have created a book-free version of it is already done, so in the foreign markets we are starting. The Arabic book we are already exporting to the Middle Eastern countries, so it is very soon. As someone famous said, we think like an activist and a scientist together. So, so given all the publishers in the world, what's yes. unique about what you're doing? Okay, um, in our country, uh, Bengali is the fifth largest spoken language in the world, and we are partnering up with the government. So they, that gives us, again, uh, in terms of lobbying and everything else, we are in there. Uh, the other thing is, um, 15, uh, fourth industrial revolution-wise, there are very few companies who are working on you know, empathy building and uh, creative thinking, and we want to incorporate artificial intelligence. Funny you say, because the idea I got from my kid when he was looking at one of the things, he was trying to interact, and he didn't talk back with him. So what we did, the boxes that we have, we have cards that interact with themselves. But going forward, this is what we want to do. So that would be a unique product. 
Can you tell me a little bit more about how the interaction works? Okay. Um, right now, what it is is you know the two animals just work uh, together, and it has information. They exchange the information. We have created two characters, uh, one after my kid Neil, and then another girl character Nilima. So they try to talk back with the kid, so that you know. With machine learning, uh, it's not as robust right now. So in future, when it has enough information, and we're working with child psychologists in Bangladesh and educational specialists, so they will give input. So in terms of you know, um, how do you build empathy? So the it will give you response, and it will give you reward if you say the right things. Thank you. Thank you.